warm welcome to you on uh, this most pleasantly clear evening. As you can see, we are getting through the uh, pre-match formalities and processes. The uh, players coming onto the field for the usual fanfare and handshakes and so on. Conditions absolutely perfect. Temperatures are kind enough. It is an absolute picture under the floodlights here. And the match that follows ought to follow suit. Oh, what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard working jobs, but if they can gain a one on one advantage, they can dictate. Goal! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. Us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've defended. That's how you play on the counter, quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Really well taken goal. All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Quadrado showed real composure there. I mean, great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Yeah, and the result that was true to form, a big team beating a, a not-so-big team, and the lesson dealt. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all. Ronaldo! Oh. 